Wow, a lot of our politicians now are now in big trouble. Now, since they don't want people to protest any little thing, they will get you arrested. There are many ways to kill rats without shedding his blood. Many of them now, they are beginning to see that the social media is so powerful that people can see, let your information go around the world. In as much they are trying to shut the people's mouth, not for them, for them not to be able to talk, for them not to be able to speak, to put fear in them. I think people are now using social media to make their opinions and their, to make their feelings known. Yes, over 8,000 people signed right now mockery a petition asking the EU and the UK to bar Governor Eero Fai. A petition initiated by former presidential aide Reno Mokri for the United Kingdom and the European Union to place a visa restriction on Cardona State Governor Nasai Rufai has been signed by over 8,000 people. The petition shared on change.org was addressed to the UK Parliament. The UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Council of the European Union and the European Parliament. The petition read, the petition for the government of the United Kingdom and the European Union to place a travel ban on NASA Erufai for promoting genocide and religious and political intolerance. NASA Erufai is a threat to the peace and security of Nigeria for many reasons, chief of which are that on December 3rd, 2016, he admitted that he paid killer S men who killed Nigerian citizens because they were of the same ethnicity as him. Since that admission, there has been an intense escalation of the killings of mostly Christians in Kaduna and on August 25th, 2020, suspected SME abducted seven school children and their teacher from Prince Academy in Kaduna. They have not been seen or heard of, of since then. On September 8, 2014, Nasai Rufai falsely accused former president Goodluck Jonathan, the then president of the Christian Association of Nigeria Pastor Ayo Orisha Jaffo of founding and funding Boko to the tune of 50 billion naira. On January 27, 2013, he insulted the Lord Jesus Christ on Twitter. On February 6, 2016, he threatened foreign observers, including observers from the EU and UK, with death, warning that they should they would return in body bags should they, should they intervene in Nigeria. On July 15, 2012, Nasai Rufai said, and I quote, We will write this for all to read. Anyone, soldier or not, that kills the Fulani takes a loan repayable one day, no matter how long it takes. This threat has been carried out in southern Kaduna, where there is an ongoing genocide of Christians under a Rufai's watch. On August 23, 2019, he charged the Anglican Bishop of Zaria province of Kaduna, Abiodun Uguyemi, for defamation. Nasai Rufai circulated an email, circulated an email referring to southern Nigerian women as wars. Hmm. On April 13, 2020, proving that the Abu does not fall far from the tree, his son, Belu E. Rufai, threatened to gang rape the mother of a southern Christian woman. Proving that the idea that southern women are wars is well established in the Air Rufai household. On April 24, 2019, another of his sons, Basha Air Rufai, described the, pro the pogrom against Igbos as sweet. It is for this reason that Nigerian citizens call on the governments of the United Kingdom and the European Union presidency to follow the lead of the United States and place a visa ban. On NASA Erufai, who is scheming to become Nigeria's president to prevent a Rwanda style of genocide in Nigeria. Hmm. As at the time of filing this report, 8,896 people have been have signed the petition. Well, some people will tell you say forget it, nothing happen. But one thing I believe is that it is good the way Nigerians are voicing out their opinion and their their struggles and their pain. But believe you me, these people are watching. Nobody ever uh, believed or envisaged that say, this ban will still come up again. Because people will just believe that oh, it is not their business. Yes, it is not their business, but they don't want this kind of people to come into their country. You can imagine the statement, all the things that's being said, uh, that, uh, that are being said about uh, Eru 5. That is what has been happening. They, it can come as an, 
and, and debunk them. He can't. At least I know the one of when he said a uh, body bags. Did they even invite him? Did they say anything? Did anybody from uh, the northern extraction? Did they say anything? No, they won't say anything. They will not say anything. They will never say anything. They will see it as being good. If you know that you are guys are okay, then why are you always antagonizing the people? So it shows that whether they ban them or not, they will tell you oh to hell with them. They don't want to go to that place. But it shows that you guys are not uh representatives, good representation of the people. Now we learn that a uh, Nigerian government. You know they are in a closed door meeting with the U.S. government because of this a uh, ban. One thing is that you cannot bribe them. You they cannot they can never and never compromise. Before they came to that conclusion that they are going to ban them, you know restrict the, the visa on them. They must have done their due diligence. They don't just listen to hearsays. So the reason why I said it is a good thing that people are still voicing their opinion as they know all of these things because it's it, of course it's not going to be possible that everybody will be quiet with all of these things happening. Just unfortunate that those who are shouting now, a lot of things happen even during the other other party. But we are not going to be going backward. But as many that are truthful, irrespective of uh, who's us is God. Anytime any government comes up and they are doing the wrong thing, people will still come and condemn it. So they are going to look into it. I'm just I just believe that this is a good thing. Let them just do it to fulfill your righteousness. But believe you me, all those countries they know what they are doing. They will still come out come out one day. When no one will expect that they are going to bring out or do whatever they want to do, but at least it's a signal that we know the bad eggs in this country. We know those who are making life uncomfortable in this country. We know their antecedents. We know their body. Their body language speaks volume. Their utterances also speak volume. So it is. It's shameful. One thing is that they are not going to compromise now that Nigerian government is having meeting with them. On this uh, issue of a uh, visa ban, they will not compromise because they all the facts are there. They don't just come out and begin to say one thing, one thing, like uh, the way Nigerian, uh, uh, what do they call that? Uh, EFC, EFCC and DSS. They will invite you, they will arrest you after arresting you. That is when they will start investigation just to keep you there. They don't even do their work, they, they just did things, do things shabbily, and that's why we're not getting results. Now they've been giving an information uh, uh, about a uh, the northern governor who is the commander of the Boko. Now they are not chasing, they are not even talking about the the, the to even do invest, investigation about that. But what are they doing? They are they are reinviting and reinviting the man who gave them that information. So it's a good one. Honestly, it's a good one. Let us see, let us begin to know the bad people in this uh, in this country. We know them, but they believe that they are larger than life. They believe that uh, they can do and undo. Someone is asking here, yeah, those countries are not fools and they don't work on hatred or sentiments because they have they have yes on ground to know what is happening. So uh, don't kid yourself. They know more than you do in your country. Someone say you are wrong. They work on information. They don't work on wrong information. But can you point out any point provided that is false in respect of Erufai? That's a good point. All of those things, are they, are they false? Are they lying against him? Well, yes, they know that these statements on Aero Fire are family and family are facts and not fiction. Mm. This malam is more deadlier than the Boko. Not only UK and EU, but all foreign countries. I want to sign the petition. Please help me with the link. The link, please. I want also to sign the petition. Aero Fire is a demo in a human form. See, look like a CB. All foreign countries and country Nigeria should ban him from walking around Nigeria's territory. <laughs> so guys, let's hear your opinion concerning this petition being uh, written. Thanks.